Hey everyone, I'm Joey Bender from Zap Fitness North Hobart and today I'm going to explain the correct form, rep range and set range for the exercise of a deadlift, helping prevent back injury and future injuries. Okay, so right now we're going to explain how to do the deadlift using the correct form. A lot of the time we see a lot of members performing this deadlift and they're doing something which is called a hitch. Whereas when they come down, they're kind of yanking the bar up, they're using their arms too much, they're putting their back into it too much. It's gonna cause a lot of injuries and it's just not a good look in the gym. So what we're going to do, we're always gonna perform this movement pushing through our heels. So as you can see, we've got Jono here. He's got his heels stuck into the ground. We're gonna keep our chest up. What we want to imagine is like a duck. We wanna keep our glutes out and our chest up. And in one movement, he's going to pull it up to his waist and then return back down for the deadlift. Okay, we see a lot of people giving up on their deadlifts. A lot of people don't even ever attempt them. So if you don't know how to do them, I'd recommend coming and seeing one of the trainers. But apart from building a big, dense, thick back, it's gonna help prevent injuries and look after one of our most important things, which is our back. The deadlift is one of the most important compound movements. I would always recommend keeping the rep range fairly low and trying to bring the weight up heavy. We don't want to go stupid with them. I'd always recommend using a belt if you're going to go really heavy, but I would always keep the rep range under 10 reps. Put less strain on your back. If you know someone who would benefit from this video, please share it with them. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below.